Hey folks, how y'all doing today? I hope everybody's okay. Um, recovered from any overindulgences of Christmas, although we're still in the Christmas season. You know, it's, it is 12 days of Christmas, not just one. Um, although it always feels like it's that in-between stage, doesn't it? Just after, you know, after Christmas Day and before New Year's Day. It's, it seems like a in-between times where nobody's quite sure what they're doing. Or is that just me? <laughs> As you can see, I'm smoking my Comoy's Calabash. Um, It really is a fantastic pipe and a fantastic smoke. Um, <coughs> excuse me. If you don't have a calabash in your pipe collection, um, I can recommend getting one. Okay, it's not really a pipe to carry around with you, and you certainly, you know, not one to clench while you're working. But if you want a pipe that you can sit and relax with at home, um, you can do a lot worse than get a calabash. And in the pipe today I'm smoking some aged Stonehaven. <coughs> in fact it's the last of my aged Stonehaven. Um, who's a piper, who's your piper contacted me a while ago and we, we did a trade. Um, he'd never tried Penzance and I had some aged Penzance. Um, so we did a swap, I gave him some Penzance, he gave me uh, some Stonehaven. And as I say, this is the last of it now. I've, I've smoked it really sparingly because it's the only Stonehaven I had. Um, and oh, okay, yeah, I do have Jermaine to Rich Dark Flake, which essentially is the same blend. Um, <coughs> so I'm not completely without the blend, but as far as the actual name goes, I don't have any Stonehaven. And this is a beautiful blend, you know, it, um, to me, I pick up hints of, um, almost like a fruity red wine um, you know I get that kind of flavour with it at times certainly as far as the tin note goes that I, I definitely get that uh, rich red wine or pork kind of smell to the blend Very, very nice. <coughs> I have a couple of uh, new to me tobaccos that hopefully will be arriving tomorrow. Um, they cleared through customs this morning, so um, it shouldn't be too much longer before they get here. Um, as you all know, I, I really do enjoy Virginia, uh, Virginia Periques. Um, I only generally have four different ones in my cellar. I've got um, Dunhill Lily's Beef and Mixture, I've got some Solani 633 um, and uh, St James Flake. I think I've got another but I can't remember what it is at the minute. Oh, Cabby's Mixture. <coughs> so I've got those four and I enjoy all of them um, but I wanted to get some others as well to try. Um, so I ordered some Peter Stockby Luxury Navy Flake, uh, which I've always heard good things about. I've just never had a chance to try it, so I bought myself some of that. And I also bought some Cornell and Deal Bayou Morning. Uh, I think it's Bayou Morning. Um, it from what I read it has 
quite a large dose of Perique in it, which I really do enjoy it at quite high percentages. Um, and apparently it has about 25% in that blend, so I'm really looking forward to trying that. Um, it should be pretty spicy. Um, <coughs> So as I say, hopefully those will be here tomorrow. If not tomorrow, it'll be the day after. Uh, and hopefully there's no charges on them as well. But I'll find that out if I get a grey card. I do apologise about the coughing, still. To accompany the pipe, I'm smoking, uh, drinking, uh, drinking some uh, Wittard's Festive Blend coffee, which is a full roast. Um, but it's not a very strong coffee despite the fact that it's full roast um it's you know it's quite a well balanced uh flavorful blend without being too much caffeine in it so anyway i've been really enjoying the videos that I've been catching up on just lately. Um, I absolutely loved the Artful Codgers uh, live feed uh, a few days back. That was uh, really entertaining. Um, <coughs> and I don't think I've ever seen so many people on a live stream. I think there was a hundred people at one point nearly. If not, you know, I think there was anyway. I mean, I'm there were certainly a lot of people watching. Um, just in case you don't know, uh, London Calling with Simon has a giveaway going on at the moment. Uh, it's well worth checking that one out. There's some excellent tobaccos being given away. Um, so, you know, if you get the chance, do pop along to that, have a look and get in on it. Uh, Garbage Man Piper has a giveaway going on at the moment as well. Um, I think there's only a couple of days, a few days left for that. I think the entries for that close on at midnight on the 2nd of January. And then on the 3rd of January is going to be doing a live feed. Um, which, you know, will do the giveaway in that. Um, who else? The Artful Codger has a giveaway going on. You need to check out the last video that he did, which was the live stream. Um, all the details for the giveaway are in that. That's well worth getting in on. Um, <coughs> giving away quite a lot in that as well. So, plenty to uh, be looking out for in the YTPC at the moment. Um, if you haven't checked it out and you fancy a bit of a giggle, uh, pop along to the Briar Report and check out their 10 predictions for 2019. Um, it's, yeah, pretty funny. Um, so, I do wonder about a couple of them, just how accurate they might actually be. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> but yeah, it was a it was a good laugh reading that. Um, I think I'm going to leave the video there. I'll, I'll be going on for nearly ten minutes, and I'm beginning to just ramble. So um, I don't want to bore you all too much. But you folks, take care. Um, I hope you all have a truly fantastic 
uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and I really do wish you all the best years, best year of your life for 2019, so far anyway. You know, may every year after it be even better. Take care and I'll catch you later. Bye.